Good morning gamers, it is me Jork the Pork, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install tweaked apps and games with an app store app without a jailbreak. That's right, using this app right here, we're going to be able to keep this app side store, which is basically alt store without a computer, um, constantly refreshing, you know, no seven day limit, no seven, three app limit or whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the initial setup for this does require a computer, but once you set it up once, you never need the computer again. Now I'm going to be showing how to do this on a Windows computer because most people have them. Uh, if you don't have a Windows computer, just like go to a friend's house who has one because um, the setup is very easy. It takes like five minutes. So you're going to want to come to the side store page, which I have in the description. And they basically have everything outlined, but I'm just going to be going over it anyways. You want to download these five files. So this alt server, side store IPA, jitterbug pair. And then these two are really important for Windows, iTunes and iCloud. Now, it's possible that if you head over to the Microsoft Store, you might say, oh, Jork the Pork, I already have iTunes, I already have iCloud. It's very important that you get the non-Microsoft Store ones. So if you have them, it'll probably say, like, uninstall up here, or, like, install this thing, and you can uninstall it. Make sure you uninstall the Microsoft Store versions, and then you download these two, and then you just want to run it. Now, I already have them installed, but I'll kind of show sort of what it's like. Um, so it'll download, and then you can run it once it finishes downloading. And once it loads, it'll say like setup installation or something. And mine's probably gonna say you already have it installed. It might give me an error sign, but you're just gonna go through the process. It will probably prompt you to restart your computer um, while you're doing this. Uh, if that's the case, do it. Yeah, so you can see I already have iTunes, so I'm not gonna reinstall it, but that's how you do it. You wanna go through there and just install iTunes and iCloud. Again, might make you restart your computer. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is make sure iTunes and iCloud are up and running. So we're just gonna start with iCloud. You wanna sign in with your Apple ID and password. And I purposely have mine slightly out of view, but then once you do that, you're just gonna hit sign in. And it'll load for a second. And there you go, you will be in time. So then we're gonna do the same thing with iTunes. This time though, you wanna plug whichever phone you're using uh, into the computer. And once you do so, you'll probably see this like phone icon which you can click on. And this part isn't absolutely necessary, but it's generally recommended you hit sync, uh, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. And then you can just hit apply. And then we can hit done and we're good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is set up alt server. This is the same thing that alt store uses. Uh, so in the alt installer file that you downloaded from side store, just hit setup and I already have it. So I'm just gonna hit repair, but for you, it would be like install and then it'll install, and you can make sure it worked. If you go to like the little triangle thing, you can see alt server should be there. Mine just disappeared, but if that's the case, you should be able to find it in the search section. Yeah, you can see alt server is right there. We can open it up and it's good to go. So then just make sure you have downloaded the side store IPA, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and find alt server, and this is pretty important. You wanna shift click it such that you see this sideload IPA. If you don't see sideload IPA, you didn't shift click it. And you're just going to sideload it to uh, whichever phone you're using. Uh, so it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you're gonna find that side store IPA, double click it, enter your Apple ID and password. Trust me, this is safe. You know, you can find any source on Twitter. Side store is very respected. It's basically just like a off branch of alt. And then just like before, we're gonna hit install. And it should install just fine on your computer. We're just gonna hit okay. If you do get any errors here, uh, just comment them down below and I will be sure to help you. So this only takes a second. So alt, our side store will install on your phone. I just realized that I already had it installed, so I'm just gonna redo this real quick. And if you are on iOS uh, 16 or iOS 17, you need to make sure you have developer mode on, otherwise side store won't work. So to do that, head into settings, privacy and security, scroll down and turn developer mode on. So you just click that button. It will probably make you restart your phone. So yeah, do that. All right, so there we go. Side store downloaded. It's gonna say untrusted enterprise developer. You can fix this by going to settings, general, VPN and device management, and then trusting it. And then if you open it up, you will notice it's gonna say that it's missing a file. That's fine because that is the next step in this tutorial. All right, so the next step is with the jitterbug pair file, the last one that we downloaded. Um, and so what you're gonna wanna do is find the file and you're going to extract it. And you're gonna hit extract. And then this part's pretty important. You wanna make sure that your phone has a password um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this application thing 
it might say protected your PC. It's fine. We're going to hit run anyways. It's going to open, close, and I actually forgot to um, hit trust on my computer. So you're just going to want to do that. So then we are going to run it again. And you can see I got this uh, file here. Now, if you don't have a password enabled on your phone, you will not get this file. And it's super frustrating because you're like, why didn't I get this file? So yeah, most people have a password, so it's fine. So now we need to get this file to our phone. So the first thing you're going to do is hit compress to zip file. And then we want to send this to our phone. Now, because the file is only uh, seven kilobytes, the easiest way to do it is just to control C to copy it and then to email it to yourself. So load, and then you're just gonna email it to yourself. So then find it on your email, and you're just going to wanna save this to files. Just save it to a place uh, where you know. I'm just gonna save it to a folder on my iPhone. So we'll just make a folder, and we'll call it side for side store, and we'll just hit save. Then in files, find that, and then we wanna unzip this. So just tapping it should work. Uh, there you go. You go. You can see it's um, unzipped. So we're going to head into the side store, and now we want to choose that file. So mine was in on my iPhone, inside, and we're just going to pick that. And now it works. So then you're going to go to settings. Once again, you want to sign in with Apple ID. The final step is to download this WireGuard app right here. So you can head into the App Store, and you see I already had it there. So you're just going to look up uh, WireGuard. But uh, yeah, we're just going to find WireGuard and install this app right here. This the right file here. that we need to import is this WireGuard config file on SideStore. It's just on the instructions page I have linked. So you're going to hit download and hit download. And once again, just put this somewhere that you know in your files. So I'm just going to save it to the same folder. Actually, it should already be there, so I'm not even going to bother. So then we're going to head into WireGuard and you're going to hit add. And you want to hit create from file or archive, and you want to find it. So you can see mine's right here. So you're going to select it, hit allow, and type in your password. And then you're going to turn it on. And now you are good to go. So I'm going to unplug my phone, and we're going to head into Side Store. And you can add whatever app you want. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, what should I do? I will do this Snapchat IPA, I guess. Um, I have found for on this phone, at least for whatever reason, it takes a really long time to load. So I'm going to skip through part of the loading process. I do not want anyone to say this video is fake. Um, here doesn't really matter. I think you can just hit remove app extensions. Um, so yeah, let's. If this goes quickly, then I won't skip it. But odds are it's going to go very slowly. So I'm just going to skip a little bit. All right, so there we go. It finally installed. Uh, you can see it says expires in seven days. Technically, that's true. If you go seven days without this refreshing, it will expire. But you can hit refresh all, and after like a minute or something, it'll refresh even if it's on one day. You can see my app installed just fine. This IPA is kind of trash, so I'm not going to actually go into depth with that. Um, you can see, yeah. Uh, so it didn't even let me use it. But anyways, you can see it works just fine and it refreshes just fine. So that's pretty much all. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can see it refreshes fine. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.